and welcome to Monday's mini pocket painting. We are going to do a forest fawn today. Now I've already sketched out my fawn's head and I'm mixing just a little bit of blue and a little bit of actually lamp black to get kind of a blue gray. We're going to just paint in the first layer of his eye and I want it to be sort of watery so it's got a fair amount of water in the mix. I'm just dabbing up some of the area that I want to remain lighter. I'm just going to add another bit of paint just to darken that up some. We want our fawn's eye to be huge and bright and beautiful. And I'm going to wet the area right around his eye. Or her. I don't know. I didn't ask. But we're going to just uh, put some clean water right around that eye. Then I'm going to mix up a little bit of Naples yellow and make a really watery mix. I want it to be really thin and just go ahead and drop that in that clean water and go ahead and smooth it around the eye. What we're doing is putting on the makeup. That's what it always reminds me of whenever I paint this part of a deer or a cow that has a lighter portion around his eye. It's like eyeshadow. We're putting on a little bit of eyeshadow. For the shadow part, I'm just mixing that blue-gray mixture with the Naples yellow. And I'm being a little bit careful. I don't want it to turn green. I want to make sure that it is a gray to yellow and not a green because, you know, blue and yellow make green. So careful with the mixture, making sure it's on the gray side of yellow and not the green. I'm taking a little bit more of the Naples yellow and I'm just putting it in some areas right in front of the eye, right on his the beginning of his face and down his muzzle just a little bit. I want it to be really pale so I've added a lot of water. Now I'm adding a little bit more in some darker areas. I want to darken up some of the shadows. I'm adding a little bit of that darker mix with the blue and the blue gray mix mixed into the yellow just to sort of darken that up to make my shadow color. And just adding a little bit more. I've also added just a touch of red brown. I think it's a burnt sienna I've got in there. Just to warm it up just a touch and add just a, a little bit of reddish tone into it. And that'll make it a little more gray for me. So I'm just blending that out. I've let that dry. Now I'm coming back with my lamp black. And we're going to go ahead and put his mascara on. Just the little markings, that black part right around the eye and right on the edge of the eyeball. That's, It's just the shadow from his eyelid. Makes his eyeball look a little bit darker right around the edge. Then I'm taking clean water and blend that, that out just a little bit toward the center of the eye. And now I am going to go ahead in with the pupil. Just a really creamy mixture of that lamp black, put the pupil in, making sure I'm leaving the white of the paper as the highlights for the eye. So I'm painting around that and leaving it clean and dry with no paint on it. Now I've added a little bit of that brown into that mixture just to warm it up and I'm putting it right on the outside of the deer's uh, pupil, the pupil part of his eye. So now we're gonna go down straight on top of his nose right straight down his nose, wetting it with some clean water. And then I'm just going to drop in a watery mix of that lamp black. Got just a little bit, a touch of that blue. I think that's indigo go blue I'm using here. And going ahead, painting in the little patterns that are on his nose, his little muzzle. And I'm just blending it out with my brush. And I'm using a number four Mimic Mimic brush. That's the name of my brush, and it's a size four pointed round. I'm going to come back with a little bit more of the black mixture, creamier, less water, so it's more concentrated. And I'm just going to pull that into the darkest areas of his nose, right around his mouth, right around his nose. And then I'm going to put a little bit more where there's a shadow here to start to build up those shadows and just blending it out with some clean water putting a little shadow down the other side of his nose and right here on the bottom part on his uh, under lip his bottom lip we're just going to bring that black all the way out around the curve of his lip I'm picking up a little bit of the paint 
so that there's a little variation. And then we're going to take that same black and we're just going to paint in that other eye, leaving a little bit of white space. You know how when you're looking sideways at somebody's eye, there will be like a clear light space, white space there. So we're leaving that as the light shines through it. Now we're going to come back to his nose. And I'm painting that in fairly thickly. And I'm doing it straight onto dry paper. Um, I'm just sort of outlining. I'm leaving a little bit of the white of the paper to shine through so that it looks like um, highlights on the tip of his little nose. And then I'm darkening the areas where the shadows are darkest, of course. And right around the edge. And down on his lower lip some more. And I'm darkening up that shadow that's going right across the top of his nose. Now he has a little bit of darkness on his bottom lip, so I just painted a little, little bit of that in. Now I'm coming in with a little bit of my brown or burnt sienna, and I'm just painting around his eye, putting in his eyelid and the markings right in front of his eyes, and just blending that with a little bit of clean water. It's really easy. There's a lot. To, there's not a lot to it. And I'm also making sure some of the lighter color shines through. I'm not painting it solid grayish color. I'm letting some of that pale yellow and some of the white of the paper shine through to give it some dimension. And now I'm just adding a little bit more shadow, a little darkening up the shadow around his mouth. And right on his nose, just darkening that up just a little bit. Now I'm taking sort of a um, brownish yellow I think it is just a, it's just a mix of a little bit of um, the Naples yellow with the burnt sienna so it's just sort of a brownish yellow more reddish than brown I mean more sort of a red brown let's say that I'm also adding the shadows on his other eye I'm also putting in the little markings right across the top lip now I'm coming in with more of the burnt sienna that reddish brown and I'm just painting it straight onto dry paper and then taking clean water and just sort of blending it out. I'm leaving where the highlights are. I'm leaving more of the white of the paper to show through. And where I want it darker, I have added some burnt umber here to the mix. And I am adding that darker shadow in right around the top of his little head, right around the side of his eye. We're putting in that darker shadow straight onto dry paper and we're just sort of blending it down and I kind of like the way that the brush marks are giving it a little bit of dimension and texture I kind of like that usually I don't I want everything to be smooth and perfect but I don't know this little rustic deer it just seems like it fits this painting that style taking some more of that darker mixture after I put the shadow on the side of his face, bringing it up to the top of his forehead and right across his eyebrow. We had to paint his little eyebrow in. Like I said, we've got to put his little makeup on. So now his eyebrow has been painted in, his mascara's on, his eyeshadow's on. So now we're just taking a little bit more of that burnt sienna, filling in some of his face on the side of his cheek and just pulling that down. And then just darkening up that little area right around his eyebrow. And he is starting to come alive. He's starting to uh, look like a little deer or a puppy or something. But he's looking good. So now we're just going to go under his chin. He's got a little white spot right under his, his throat. on a, Under his chin and across his throat just at the top. So we're going around and painting around that, leaving it white. Now we're just going to paint some of the shadow work into that white area. I'm using the blue. I probably got a little too dark with this blue, but it's okay. It's it's a learning experience for me too. Every time I paint a new painting, it, I learn something new. So I probably went a little dark on the shadows on his little white fur here. It's okay. You can lighten yours up since I, I went ahead and made the mistake for you. Now you don't have to. So I put that in there and I'm dabbing a little up because I'm realizing mm, too dark. But it's, I'm just going to go with it. So I just went ahead and darkened up some more of the areas, really dark blue, and just said, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. And sometimes you have to do that. I mean, this is a really small sketch. It looks, it's probably a five by five, maybe. It's not very large at all. 
and it's just a practice and just sort of to give you an idea of how to go about painting your deer. And I'm just adding some more of that burnt umber, painting in his eyebrow a little bit more, giving him a little texture around his eye, darkening up that inner eye crease, and just adding some shadows here and there, giving some texture. And I'm going to go on his cheeks and just add a little bit more texture. And right under his little jawline, I'm adding just a real faint blue. On his bottom lip, I'm putting a really watery gray just to add the shadow there on his little bottom lip. Add his other, paint his other eyebrow on. So he's got to have that eyebrow on. And now I'm just darkening up some of the shadows just with some brush strokes to give it sort of the indication of fur. Again, this is not hyper-realistic, so we're not getting too fussy with the details. We just really want to have a pretty deer at the end of the painting, and that's what we're going to have. I'm painting in his nostrils a little bit darker, and I'm not sure that if I showed it or not, but we're going to paint his, his little mouth is just uh, a mix of cadmium red and some of the brown for the little tongue part. I'm not sure if I showed that on my video. Now I'm just painting his ear in with that dark umber up there and his other little ear as well. Just getting the shadows in there, painting straight onto dry paper. I'm just going to add a little more shadow work to this bottom lip while his ears dry. Now I've got that pink. It's just a little cadmium red with a little bit of the Naples yellow and a little bit of that um, that burnt sienna mix. So we've got the first layer on his little tongue with the pink and then we're just going to come up and take some gray and some of that pink and put it into his ear. Just um, really a nice wash, a nice watery wash. Now we're going to darken up some more shadows with a little bit thicker mixture of that burnt that burnt sienna, that darker reddish brown color. And he's really starting to come to life with these highlights starting to show. And just adding a little bit of brushwork just to get in some fur detail, just, just to give it that indication. I'm gonna darken up his ears again. There's still a little light for me. And we're just trying to get the balance of light and dark so that he looks a little more realistic. Now I've got a little bit more red and of the red mixture, so I'm just sort of blending that around the edges where he's got a little shadow. Darkening up the nose in some areas with another layer of that lamp black. Now I am adding some of that red, that reddish brown, and I'm just loosely painting in his body. I want his face to be the focal point, so I'm not going overboard with the details on his little body. I'm just sort of painting around the spots that are on the baby deer's back. So I'm not getting too detailed with that because I really want his face to be the focal point. And I'm just adding some darker and I'm getting it going a little lighter as I go down his body. I'm painting it a little lighter, a little more watery because the darkest area is around his face. And I'm just going to paint that in really loosely. I'm not going to get real excited about it. You know, I'm not going to get too too twisted up about it. I just want a nice loose wash just to show that he does have a body down there below his little face. And, and then for the background, once I get his body just sort of blocked in a little bit, you can come back and add some shadows if you'd like. I'm just showing you the basics of how to do it. But once I get his body in there, then I'm just going to paint the background with that dark blue, that sort of indigo blue that I've been mixing up just around his ears, across, uh, right above his back and right under his tummy. There you go. You have it. And I hope you've enjoyed this painting. And I'm just going to smooth out some of that background blue. You'll have a beautiful Monday pocket painting. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so that you will not miss a video that I post. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.